to <coughs> WOW Airlines. It's not bad. It's over in Terminal 5. It's a terminal I've never been to before. I'm going to Iceland. I've seen these fares offered for you know, $200. And I'm like, how weird can it be? Like Southwest Airlines to Europe. So far so good. You know, a little package that, um, backpack that I have that size is uh, free. So I guess if you're going for long weekend, you can get it all in the little backpack, you're good. You don't have to pay for any extra baggage, and even the extra overhead bag is, is only like 40 bucks, maybe. So, so far, so good. You know, less people in this terminal, less people to check in, so we'll see how the flight goes. Okay, so this is the size of the backpack. That's free. And then I paid some money for that, because that's my... You paid or no? You know, my camera gear. Uh, put that uh, check in because that'll go away. Don't care what airlines it is. Uh, Got a nice camera in there. It ain't, it ain't going in the luggage. Okay, night flight to Iceland. Never been to Iceland before. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I could see Bajork. See, if she'll take uh, some Bitcoin. I want, you know, I'll go into the the store there. Say hey, you got Bajork's new album? Can I buy it with some Bitcoin? See how that works out. Well, the seat was kind of cramped, and it's funny because I had to ask for ice from a lady from Iceland. Haha, <laughs> get it? They had water, but it was like three bucks a bottle, and my wallet was up in the overhead, and I just didn't want to get it out. It's like uh, three degrees out there, there's snow here. This is the craziest, this is the craziest morning I've ever seen. They, they come through this store over here and then they come out here to a bus. It's not like a connection like I've ever seen before. But it's five o'clock in the morning. I guess it's, it would be dark all day. I don't know. <laughs> but it's fun. The seat was terrible. It's very small. It's clean. I mean, everything's fine. And what do you get for 200, 200 bucks? I think it was. Go to Europe. So. And I was like, "Can I have some ice, please?" But other than that, the flight was okay. If you're just going to Iceland for the weekend, it's pretty awesome. I, you know, go to the Blue Lagoon, go swim in whatever. But I was headed on to London, and this is the uh, transfer. The black cab. They know the, what do they call that, where they make you ride around on your scooter for a year? The, uh, knowledge. the knowledge, yeah. Do you have the knowledge? Four and a half years. <laughs> and um, 26,000 miles on a scooter. Wow. <laughs> I remember that. And I remember when red cabs came to town. Oh, the, um, that's before my time. <laughs> okay, and everybody was jacked about the red cabs, and now everybody's complaining about the Ubers. Yeah, I think um, people just like to complain, don't they? <laughs> yes. Well, that's good. How long are you in town for? Just three days. Oh, well, quick one. It's been a while since I've been here. Well, that's it. Just walking around London after working all day. Went out to a nice restaurant. This one's near the Tate Museum. You know, it's kind of cool walking around London around Christmas time and, you know, seeing black cabs. It's, it's London. It's just kind of cool. So then I had to go work and do all these other things. But all in all, it was a pretty good start of a trip. And then I went to Geneva and France and flew back through Poland, which I'll put some videos up for later. Thanks for watching and subscribe.